Welcome back to the BFB Podcast. I'm your host, Avedon Smith, and thank you all for watching. If you are new to the channel, or if you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most of all, most of all, you make sure you share this with a friend. And if you're listening over on our audio platforms, thank you so much. Please make sure you are leaving us a rating as well as your comments. We would love to hear your thoughts on this podcast. On today's episode, we will be talking about what it truly means to show up for yourself. Now, before we get into that, um, I will be using my Facebook status again because that was inspired by it. But um, I will also be using a Facebook memory of a tweet that I made on June 18th, 2019, because I do believe that it is relevant to the conversation. Now, I'm going is I spoke, you know, in my own creative way back then, but I'm going to break it down what I truly meant. What I said back in 2019 was faking it till you make it has high maintenance with a low return on your investment. Don't let short term acknowledgement fool you. Everything you do now does matter. Live this life being you so everyone can be on one accord when your time is up. So breaking this down in layman terms, stop faking who you are. Be the real you. Being the real you costs so much less energy. It costs so much less stress than trying to maintain a character that you created just to appease people and to garnish an audience of people who will acknowledge you and what you do. It will save you so much more time. And honestly, you won't have to worry about evolving that fake character into a new character because that in itself requires more energy. And no one got time for that because you're going to have people who have different versions of you when your time is up on this earth. You're going to have your fans or the people who appreciated you remembering you for someone that they believe to be true, but you're going to have your friends, your family remembering somebody else And it's going to be a real conflict if those two people do not look the same. Whereas if you just be who you are, and this includes if you have things that you're working on personally, personality traits you're working on, or just, you know, things that we all could renew our minds to and grow to, then you will be someone that is likely the same person in everyone's eyes. You you will being that person, I promise you, has way more value and is way more, it has a much higher return of investment. That's the best way I could put it. So that was three years ago, right? A little over three years ago. Fast forward to 2022, which is the topic of this video. Um, I said, make a habit out of showing up for yourself before looking for an audience. Be the first who loves what you do. Now, I want everyone listening to take inventory of a few few things. If you are someone who is growing a craft or you're just someone who just loves creating content, love just loves creating, do you love what you do? And more importantly, do you show up for yourself? And if you do, how often? How often do you show up for yourself every day, every week? every two weeks, every month, every year, five years, 10 years, how often do you show up for yourself? And this is something that we are not exactly uh, trained to know how to do because in many cases, we have misconceptions on what it means to show up for for ourselves. In a lot of cases, that showing up for ourselves looks like trying to make it seem like we're always working. We're always on the grind. We're always on the move. I want you to all to tell me something. What living, breathing thing on this earth or organism on this earth, whatever you want to call it, what what living on this earth is able to go 100% all the time without stopping? 
or what is truly effective that is always making of announcements of its moves? Nothing and no one. The best people who are like precise and skilled took time. They took the longer route to grow. And sometimes I, I guess we believe that since technology has grown fast, that we don't have to commit the time to grow as efficient. And you know what? To some to some merit, I could see some truth. You know, time technology has has helped us cut down time in doing certain things. But when it comes to actually learning and being skilled in something, it takes years. You gotta be prepared to take the years to grow. And that's one of the misconceptions I wanted to talk about with Sean for yourself. It's showing up 100% of the time, all the time. We can't even do that with other people. In fact, before we even get into that, I want you all to take note. How many times do you even prioritize yourself in showing up for yourself? Because that's going to play a big role in how much of a percentage you can give to yourself. Are you dead last on your list? Do your job, does your job, does your friends and everybody else come before you? Or are you investing in yourself first and then letting yourself pour into everything else? See, sometimes we have to reverse engineer the foundations in order to properly be of service to other people. If we are serving other people from the bottom up, that's like that's like us pouring a cup, pouring. uh, Let's just say we have a pitcher, right? And you want to pour into a cup, but the cup is all the way up here and your pitcher's down here. How is that going to work? But if you started first and you was up here. And the, and the cup was down here and then the pitcher was, and you had the pitcher here, now you have leverage to pour. Why? Because you made yourself the priority. You have to make yourself the priority. And even then, even with making yourself the priority, you have to understand that not every day you're going to show up at 100%. There's some days that even though you made yourself the priority, there's some pressing things that may require you to counterbalance your attention onto family or onto really close friends who may be going through some things that require your attention, your full attention, and you need to cut off a few things for a few hours. And by the time you come back to yourself, you only have 35% of yourself left to pour into what you need to do for the day. But here's the thing. If you pour in that whole 35% into what you need to do, you have just given 100% of your capacity for your crafts and for your goals that day. And a lot of us are not taught that. You know, we're taught that if we can't, you know, show up fully, don't show up at all or go hard or go home. So if we're not performing at our optimum all the time, there's something wrong with us. We need to make sure we're together. And that's not the truth. You're not going to always be at your optimum. So it's okay to show up at 50%. It's okay to show up at 75%. It's okay to show up at 95%. It's okay to show up at 10%. What matters is is what you do with that percent. Because somebody who invests their whole 10% into something is far greater than the person who only invests 20% of that 95% they have. Because some people with that, since because they have that 95%, they're not fully focused. They are, where is it? As they're, let's just say, I have my machine right here. As they're making music, they're on their phones, swiping, swiping, swiping on Twitter, swiping on Facebook, swiping on Instagram, swiping on TikTok, as where your focus should be here. Swiping through text messages. Sometimes you got to put that phone on airplane mode or focus mode and chuck it across the room and focus on what you need to do. Because if you think showing up for yourself means that, hey, I'm working while I'm still trying to be social, you got it all wrong. 
It ain't going to work like that. In fact, I'd encourage everyone listening to look into the 10,000 hour rule. What that basically means, there was a, a research since like the 1970s, right? Uh, it showed a pattern between people who were really good at chess or chess grandmasters, if you will, versus a really great composers and musicians that these people put in minimum of 10 hours of master, I'm sorry, my bad, 10 years of mastery into their craft or what they love to do. And I want you all to think about that. Are you willing to put in 10 years? Are you? Are you willing to put in 10 focused years of learning and growing in what you need to do? Some of us watching this video, we may be a little bit older where 10 years sounds a little scary, but I want you all to consider something. Colonel Sanders was over 60 years old when he made KFC. I want you all to consider, if y'all know me, I, I'm, I'm gonna throw in some Bible here and there. Moses was over 70 years old, going on 80, when he went to free the children of Israel from, from um, Pharaoh in Egypt. So I want you all to consider that your age is only as powerful as you make it. And I'm gonna be vulnerable myself the reason why I could talk about that so freely about swiping, because that's just me. I get distracted. I have gotten distracted. Let me change my confession. I've gotten distracted so much and for so many years that even though I've been making beats since 2004, I am not as nearly as good as I I've, as I've could have been if I wasn't trying to make beats and play video games at the same time, or I'll have a loop playing and I'm going to play my video games as that loop is playing for hours. And not just sitting through the uncomfortable feeling of, hey, I need to learn what to do with this in the moment. I'm trying to let people know who are listening, please do not shortchange your value, please. Because you, I'm laughing because it makes me think like, you gotta love what you do first. In order to feel this way, you really gotta love what you do. In order to invest those 10 years, you gotta love what you do first. Don't, don't invest 10 years into something that you do not love. And that could speak so many messages towards anybody. I'm even speaking that even towards myself and even with, you know, job opportunities and even with working at certain places. Don't give 10 years of your life so freely away. Your time is worth more than any paycheck. So you have to love yourself first and you have to see the vision first. You have to actually see the vision. In order to show up for yourself every day, you gotta see yourself at that top, at that top tier. You have to see yourself as being at the very best of your game. People can't show up if you don't show out. If you're not showing out, who's gonna show up? Like it's only those who shoot. When you show out, you are making noise. When people are making noise and celebrating and going crazy, you cause commotion. You want people to come up, come on in. Like, yo, what's what are people screaming in here for? Let me find out. So you gotta show out first. If you it's like so you show up and show out, now other people are showing up for you. Now other people are telling other people about you because you showed up and showed out. That's what you gotta do. And I'm just gonna close off by just saying this, please be kind to yourself. Like, um, I'm, I'm gonna probably forever quote uh, Chimdi on this, on her last interview on, on the channel. And she said, and I quote, no one benefits. No, let me back up a little bit. She said, give yourself some grace. No one benefits when you are not kind to yourself. You got to think about that. Who's benefiting? Who is benefiting from you not being kind to yourself? Surely ain't you. And I promise it's not your friends and your family. So 
that's my time, y'all. I'm not going to sit here and ramble. I wanted just to give y'all this quick one today because it was on my heart, you know, and I, I believe that there are so many leaders out there that believe that they have a vision, but they don't know that they can do it. And I'm here to let you know, if you're listening, if you're one of those people that has dreamed of doing some big things that you dreamed of writing books, you dreamed of changing the world. I want you to understand something that those thoughts are probably from God telling you that he got your back if you're willing to trust him and go forth in it. But nothing will ever happen if you don't ever make those first two steps to start moving. So with that said, I appreciate you all for watching. Thank you for listening in. And if you're here on YouTube for watching the video, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And most of all, most of all, you, yes, you, you make sure you share this with a friend. This is Avadon and I'm out. Take care, y'all.